Hi, and welcome back to the last week of our Messages from God series. We've been learning about how God is all around us and speaking to us all the time, and that we need to try and tune in so that we can hear His voice. We learned about how He speaks to us through creation, through the Bible, through a still small voice in our hearts, and even through visions and dreams. Today, we're going to be talking about how God can speak to us through other people. God can speak to us through our friends, through people in our church, through our family. If people pray and listen to God, He can talk to them and give them messages for us. But we should always make sure that we really double check that those messages really are from God. In the Bible, there were a special group of people called the prophets. Some of them even have books in the Bible named after them. God used them to speak to others and gave them messages from Him. Often God's people didn't really like the messages that the prophets gave them because they usually told them that they were doing things wrong and that God was going to punish them if they didn't listen to Him. But prophets were brave people who gave people God's messages whether they wanted to hear them or not. One of these prophets was a man called Amos. Let's go and find out more about Amos' story. Amos was a shepherd in a place called Tekoa. One day, God spoke to Amos and said, Amos, I want you to deliver a message to the people of Israel. The people of Israel had grown far from God and did not follow him or obey his laws anymore. God sent Amos to them as a prophet to give him his message. Amos went to the people and told them what God had said. He said, The Lord says, You have sinned over and over and you will be punished because you do not listen to me. You don't look after the poor, but sell people into slavery when they can't pay their debts. You trample down the weak and helpless and take from the poor the little that they have. If you turn back to me, you will live. But if you don't turn back to me, you will be punished. I know all your sins. You must stop doing wrong and do right instead. If you don't, I will destroy this nation. Amos said to God, Please have mercy on your people. How will this nation survive? God said to Amos, I will not let it be completely destroyed. Then Amos saw a vision of himself standing next to a wall holding a string with a weight tied to it called a plumb line. Builders used the plumb line to check whether their walls were straight. God said to Amos, What do you see? Amos said, A plumb line. God said, I'm going to use this plumb line to show that my people, Israel, don't measure up. They are crooked, and unless they change their ways, they will be destroyed. I will send war against the nation and against King Jeroboam. Amos obeyed God and went and told the people of Israel what God had said to him. When he told them about the prophecies God had spoken to him, they didn't like what they heard. The priest Amaziah sent a message to the king Jeroboam and said, Amos is plotting against you and saying that Israel will be destroyed by war and that we will all be punished by being taken captive into foreign countries. Amaziah said to Amos, take your visions and get out. Go back to being a shepherd. No one wants to hear your message of doom and gloom. Amos replied, I'm just a shepherd, but God spoke to me and told me to give you this message. But the people would not listen to Amos. Eventually, Everything Amos said came true. The people refused to listen to the message God had given him and would not stop doing evil. God sent his punishment when the Assyrian king conquered Israel and took the people captive a few years later. In this story, God spoke to an ordinary shepherd called Amos and gave him a very important message for the people of Israel. He gave them the message that they weren't listening to God and that if they didn't start obeying him, God was going to punish them. Unfortunately, they didn't listen to Amos. Sometimes it's difficult to hear God because he wants us to live the right way and when we don't, he will tell us. But we don't like to hear what we're doing wrong. We should always try to listen to God's message because he knows us and he knows what's best for us. In Amos's vision, he saw a plumb line by which God said he was measuring the people of Israel. A plumb line was something like this. It was a tool that builders used to check if the wall they were building was straight. 
For us, the plumb line, or the thing we should measure ourselves against, is by God's word, which is the Bible. If we obey what he says in his word, we are right with him. But if we don't obey what he says, we are crooked, like the people of Israel were when they stopped obeying God's laws. Sometimes God chooses to speak through special people called prophets. But God can also speak through ordinary people like you and me. He can speak to us and he can speak through us. God can speak to us through a friend, when someone prays for us or feels that God is saying something to them. He can also speak to us through the kids' church teachers or someone in the church or our family. Anyone who's listening to God can hear a message for us. We can also remember that we can speak to God for others. But we must always check that what we're really hearing is from God. Can you remember our acronym that helps us to do that? W stands for word. Does it line up with what God says in the Bible? The Bible is God's special message to us that tells us all about who he is. God will never tell us something that goes against what the Bible says. For example, we know that the Bible tells us not to lie, so God will never tell us to be untruthful. Whenever we hear something from God, we should always check it against what the Bible says and what we know about who God is from the Bible. O stands for others. Check with other Christians you trust and respect. When we believe we've heard a message from God, we should ask others who are also Christians to pray about it and to tell us what they think. R stands for right. Does it seem right and good? What would Jesus do? When we hear something from God, we should also check whether it sounds right and good to us. Sometimes God may ask us to do difficult things like to be kind to people we don't like or trust him when it seems difficult. But we should make sure that what we think God is saying sounds like something Jesus would do. If it doesn't, we should make sure that we have heard God right. D stands for double check. If you are unsure about what God is saying to you, you should double check. Pray and ask God to show you clearly what he is saying and what he wants you to do. So remember, God speaks to us and he wants us to speak to him. We hope that you have lots of great conversations with God and that you keep learning to listen for his voice.